What's up toy fans? Today, something different for you. Today we have a... Bootleg Bonanza. Ooh. That's Muggsy. That's Ben. And this is it's Bugsy's, Bugsy's Toy Box. Right, well guys, we're going to show off a few of our favourite bootleg figures mm. that we picked up over the last like few months or whatever. Yeah. Because... Sometimes you pick them up and you don't realise they're bootlegs. Sometimes you pick them up because they're obviously bootlegs. because oh, they're so bad. They are so bad that they're great. Yeah. Now, I'm going to start us off with... I think it's meant to be a bootleg of a w, an early WCW figure. So yeah. the ones from like 1992 that didn't have a lot of articulation, but for some reason they put more articulation on the bootleg. Yeah. Just it's, because... It's the, very odd. It is. It's, it's, got, it's obviously wrestling of some description... But because there's... of the paint. Yeah. <laughs> Very so, loosely. We're going to start with this guy. Now, disclaimer. If for any reason we're just being idiots and they're not actually bootlegs, then feel free to tell stick us we're stupid. Stick it in the box. And stick it in the box. But as far as we are aware, because we can't find them anywhere and there's no markings on any of them and we no. have trawled through loads and loads of pictures. You've even gone onto page two of Google. Oh, yeah. That far. So we're pretty sure they so are. So we're pretty sure but they are. But if for any reason we're wrong. Then just let us know. And we'll learn. Either way, at the moment we're going to go with Bootleg Bonanza. This guy, Bootleg Wrestler, looks like a WCW He's pose. He's definitely got some an odd sculpt to the front of his torso. Look at that face. I mean, he is, yeah. Um, if anyone can notice, for some reason, he has nipples. He looks like he's wearing a bra. I don't really understand why. Look at him side on. Like, it's very odd. It's like they've tried to replicate He-Man sculpts with WCW sculpts and sort of had a weird hybrid in the middle. It genuinely looks like he's gone to the gym and the only chest exercise he's ever done is flies. Yeah. Rather than anything else. And it's just, yep, yeah, just that Some bit of the chest muscle. Boots. Just that. And for some reason, nipples on a figure. Figures don't need nipples. I just Figures don't way. need nipples. Yeah. As you can and see. And look at the terrible paint job on his trunks. Yeah. Look at that. Just awful. And he's got a belly button as well. Oh yeah, he does. Ah. Well there you go. To show you what a, a proper <laughs> bootleg probably should have looked like is our bootleg Jackie Chan. Who you can yeah. see has no nipples <laughs> or belly button. But to be fair, we picked this up thinking to be fair, I think we picked this up thinking it wasn't a bootleg. Well, yeah, no. I certainly wasn't sure. But the the sculpt on it is actually quite decent. Yeah, it looks to be fair. absolutely ripped. I'm pretty sure his shoulders aren't that big in proportion. <laughs> but as bootlegs go, he's a pretty weighty figure. Not like the yeah. bootlegs they bring out these days, which is just hollow plastic. And we've got an absolute corker to end the episode <laughs> with that you will not believe. You may have even seen it. But he was... um. He was pretty good. I mean, the the sort of his Hold face, face. is a little bit odd. Yeah, but oh. we still got who it was pretty quickly. Yeah, I still said it might be oh, Jackie, Jackie Chan. Chan. Right, who should we go for next? Uh, yeah, random army guy, mm. sort of Lance Corp style army dude. Hey. I don't know if you can hear that. His head is a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> He's like The Exorcist. Do, 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 do. I know that's not the right tune for The Exorcist. That's just me making noises. <laughs> anyway, no idea what he's from. We're calling him a bootlegs. He's got no markings. And he is cheaply made. Oh, yeah. He he's is... got artic articulation in places that you don't really need it. Like, why would you want to twist his foot all the way around? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. But you can make him almost scorpion himself, which is also almost quite fun. <laughs> It's like he's getting ready to do the worm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. And he's <laughs> probably... Right. That shows you how cheaply that is made, that Muggsy managed to snap his leg completely off. Well, I mean, he's he's, legit he's legitimately a veteran now, isn't he? Like... <laughs> there we go. Moving man, on. Moving man down. On. Medic. Moving on. Right. <laughs> We go to another a relatively good bootleg, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, and it's a tank. 
But that transforms! <laughs> I was building up to it. You don't laugh before I've done it. You're still <laughs> laughing because you broke yeah. it's, it's, it's a tank. tank. I mean, I'm going to try and transform this while Monty goes through one of the other ones. <laughs> Which, to be fair, we managed to pick up a few sort of bootleg transformers. We did. One yeah. of them being this that you... There's no way that this is legit. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, someone it, going. Oh, you know, it's a Beast Wars. No, it isn't. No. <laughs> Look it, at that. It is a beast. Granted, I'll give you that. But that, it looks like a cross between a Triceratops and a like tropical rubber, frog. A rubber duck. <laughs> and a rubber duck. Right. Let's see. Like. Okay. So. There's the there's the tank all transformed. As you can see, it's not a bad transformer. To be fair, it's got the sort of the normal points of articulation to it, sort of the, sp the spinny arms and the akimbo legs and the feet that fold out at the bottom. So he in general was quite a good one. Sort of a bit of weight to him, not quite as weighty as a normal Transformer would be. But, as we say guys, if, that, if I'm wrong with this and he is actually a, a legit Transformer, I can't find the markings. So it would be awesome to know, but I'm pretty sure he's a bootleg. Uh, oh, you, to be fair, you've got further than I did. Mm. Right, while Muggsy's doing that one, I'll show you the third Transformer bootleg we've got, which is not as good as the first one, but not as bad as the second one either. It's a pretty dodgy looking dinosaur of, of kinds. I mean, look at those eyes. They, he looks half asleep. So, he was he's pretty bad. He's pretty cheaply cheap plastic. <laughs> He sort of, like, I think the tail splits. I'll tell you, you transform that and I'll show you this one. So, in transformed mode, this doesn't actually look too bad. Apart from the fact that it's just block yellow and green. <laughs> so, there you go. Transformed mode. So, you've got the triceratop chest, some little wingy bits, and then there's... Little wingy bits. Well, they're kind of like little wingy bits. I guess that's what you could call yeah. them. And obviously there's... The hands have come out on there, and there's the head. There it is. So actually, transform. This isn't too bad. It does stand really well. So, I mean, it's got some green on it. It might end up on the green shelf. It will not end up on the green shelf. I think it should. The only place <laughs> I think it should end up is the beer. Okay, right. <laughs> Viewers, you can decide if you want this to end up on his green shelf. Stick a comment in the box. If you want it to go in the bin, stick a comment in the box. <laughs> the most votes, that's where it goes. And, and I'll we... do a, we'll do a dramatic video on Instagram um, so you can see yeah. what happens to it, the fate of it. Uh, poor Tricer Orange. Trice Orange. Trice Orange. <laughs> How are you getting on? Well, it currently just looks a mess and it's a bit like this. <laughs> so, I... I I tried this before. The head's sort of like over here. <laughs> That's the head. Oh, let's have I a go. Mean, what, let's have a go while you do something else. Yeah, you do that. Go on, let's have a go. Let's see how bad right. I can fail with it. Right, and lastly, um, this guy's featured in one of our other videos, but we're sort of showing it off because it, it is a knockoff. It is a bootleg, um, but quite a quite a good one. Uh, it's one of the Japanese kaiju figures sort of a werewolf slash or top of a werewolf bottom of a Godzilla dragon sort of thing these are really cool I know there was speaking to a few people there was sort of quite a few of these um, in different lines um, he's just sort of rubber that sort of pops off but picked him up as part of a lot uh, and he's quite cool I think I might actually keep him because he just looks a bit weird and I like that oh so you've got further than I did Oh, but he has arms coming out of his waist. But hey, give Tell me you what, minute. viewers, we'll fast forward until to the point where Muggsy's actually finished it, or if unless I've had to jump in and give him a hand. So, guys, there he is. My days. That was harder work than it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> Many other tools were needed to pry his feet out of holes, hands out of the spaces in his arms. There you go. And it really doesn't stay together very well. And it's loose as anything. <laughs> Ah, oh, cheap, nasty bootleg. Yeah. To be fair, if it was well made, it would look pretty cool. If they didn't fuse the bright purple with green, 
Hey, what's wrong with that? I mean, it's not as bad as this, is it? <laughs> what, what's what, what's what's wrong with this? You could have you could have used a multitude of different colours. They could have used black, grey, a dark green. It would have looked much more like in keeping. That is a dark green. It's purple. That that's a dark green. No, I'm talking about and the that's, purple. And there's bits. silver there. I'm talking about the purple bits. Yeah. When when have you seen a dinosaur that's got a silver bit on its back? I mean, you have never seen a dinosaur. I'm not surprised because you are that old. <laughs> anyway. Wicked bootleg. Yeah. Look so that. guys, that rounds off our bootleg bonanza. Just almost. A, almost. Oh. The mother of all bootlegs. There was a reason we were saving this guy to last. So when you think bootleg, you think cheap, nasty, knockoff plastic, limited articulation, hollow body. But did you ever think you'd see something like this? Our favourite web slinger. <laughs> As we've sort of deduced by the fact that he has web to him, <laughs> even though he is purple and gold, he is completely hollow, yet still got screws in his back, and there is a light in his chest. But, but there's no electronics in it, it's literally just... There is a tiny button in his lower back that you would push to make the battery work, but you can't put new batteries in it I mean why would you want to you just buy a new one because a new battery probably cost you more than the figure did <laughs> it's just so bad we, this was the one we picked up because it was so bad I think it was like 10p at the car boot or something and I think the woman sort of laughed us off as we bought it but it, it is just horrendous he's wearing cowboy boots by the look of it <laughs> Like, why? When did Spider-Man work on the ranch? Like, <laughs> that, is, that is terrible. To be fair, he'd be really good at lassoing cattle, wouldn't he? Well, yes. <laughs> he'd be great at it. Oh, fantastic. But yeah, as we said, that rounds off the bootleg bonanza. Oh, we've enjoyed it. I hope you oh. guys have. It's something a little bit different, a little bit light-hearted. We might do another bootleg. Uh, we might do another bootleg bonanza in maybe another year or something. A like, couple of months. If you guys want to see another one, we've got more that we could show you. We just don't want to make the video too long. If you uh, want to see more, let us know. Let us know what you want to happen with the Triceradin. <laughs> Whether he's going on the shelf or in the bin. I mean, I'm rhyming and I didn't even mean to. And on that note... Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider to do so. We've got Hit some the wicked... bell button, like. All those things. You guys know what you're doing now, don't you? Instagram at Bugsy's Toy Box. Facebook at Bugsy's Toy Box. As and as we... always. As we said in the last video, I'm going to cut your bit out. No, I'm not going to leave it there. <laughs> we're, uh, we're at Totten uh, in February. I'm going to plug it again because it's an awesome toy show, some awesome sellers. It's run by some really, really nice people. So the more of you that come along, the bigger we can get it and the better we can make it. Yeah. So... Cheers, guys. Have an awesome week, and we will see you soon.